What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about some nerfs that should be coming to the game pretty soon. Sledgehammer has been mentioning on social media over the last few days. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky, where you can use code GRAVE at checkout for 5% off. Amazon Associates, I have a ton of stuff linked down in the description that I use every day when making YouTube videos, things I use when I game daily, stuff you might be interested in, so definitely give that a look. And also be sure to check out the merch store, that is linked in the description as well. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it if you would hit that sub button. There's a lot of things in the game that people would like to see change when it comes to you know how the weapons perform. But I think one of the biggest things that a lot of people can agree on that are pretty is pretty much just running close quarter maps is shotguns. Sledgehammer did... I uh, mentioned yesterday they're here to perform a shotgun exorcism. That is how they worded it. And then they said it's time for a nerf. So shotguns will be getting nerfed very soon. I'm hoping we're going to have a pretty sizable update. Of course, we do get, uh, you know, some new things this week. We're going to get, uh, you know, shipments going to be added into the game tomorrow. So I think we could be getting, a, a, you know, a, a sizable update, something that, you know, it's not just from you know one of those kind of ghost patches that's just you know from their end you know where we don't have to download anything i'm hoping we're actually going to get a pretty sizable downloadable update to fix a lot of these problems and shotguns is definitely on top of the list it seems for sledgehammer i think that will help with a lot of the close quarters maps because right now shotguns just pretty much runs the experience now there's a lot of other things people say that needs to be nerfed and i do agree the stg bug with the uh, you know, the Russian 30 round mag and of course the vital perk definitely needs to be looked at. Uh, that vital uh, attachment that's of course, or perk, whatever you want to call it, that is on a lot, uh, well, not a lot of the weapons, but the STG and the Type 100 is broken. It is not working as intended. And of course, if you stack those Russian mags on that STG, that is one reason a lot of people feel like the time to kill is way faster than it really is because that is broken and it pretty much makes the STG a two shot kill. Now, when it comes to time to kill, the game's time, uh, time to, or TTK, is around the same as Modern Warfare 2019, but some of the broken attachments is making, you know, your deaths feel like pretty much an instant thing. So if they would adjust some of the broken attachments, and then in my opinion, I've always had this opinion when it comes to any shooter, adjust the weapons according to the base game damage after you fix the broken attachments. I've always felt that they nerf things too quickly because later on those things have to end up being buffed again or everyone just moves on to another weapon and starts using it consistently and they find out what works with it the best and then it becomes, you know, way overpowered in a lot of people's opinion. So right now, if they fix the STG, let's say, they fix the Russian rounds, they fix the vital perk, then they turn around and actually nerf the STG's base game stats, someone will move on to something like the bar or another, you know, a weapon in game that's gonna be just the same in the, you know, in the coming months. People will find a way to use that weapon and make it pretty much a laser, make it really good. I've always had the you know opinion that Call of Duty should buff, like I said, buff all weapons to be on an equal playing field and only nerf the weapons if something is absolutely broken. I feel that, that would make the weapons, uh, you know, all of the weapons in the game more viable because what happens, uh, and we all kind of have seen this happen over the years, is something gets nerfed, then later down the road it's too weak, it gets buffed back, then it's the best in the game again, and it's just kind of that cycle throughout the the year in Call of Duty. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. What do you think needs to change in Vanguard? Or you kind of feel like I do. Just fix the broken attachments and then let's kind of see where the weapons stand after that. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.